The Grizzlies sporting their best look as they came into the building earlier. That's how to make an entrance on the road. The city of Denver is in full motion tonight as we get set to bring you the action from the Pepsi Center. Welcome, fans. Thanks for joining us for this Friday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony as well as Brett Berry. And we'll be catching up a bit from the sideline with David Aldridge in the All-Star voting. And a lot of fans and players interested to see how this thing all turns out. And you look at Jackson. He's on the cusp of the top ten in the Western Conference voting. So still a long way away from being named a starter, but the fans aren't overlooking what he's been doing this season. A great All-Star weekend it'll be. We'll keep you updated as we get closer. We are nearly ready for the tip-off, but first, let's hear from our very own David Aldridge. D.A., it's all yours. Thank you very much. Jaron Jackson Jr. is continuing in his father's NBA footsteps. Asked about that influence, Jaron said, just his heart for the game and tenacity. I think we'll be the ones that end up on top. And the starting group for the Grizzlies. Adams at center with Jackson next to him. Then it's Williams. Then it's Morant. And it's Conchar into the two spot. And for the Nuggets, Gordon and Jokic hold down the post for him. Then there's Monte Morris. Then it's Will Barton. Now here is Morris. Takes it inside. And the rejection by Jackson. From about 19 feet. And he buries that one, drilling the... And he sinks the second. If you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Up top, Morant, defended by Gordon. Jackson, and Jackson throws it down. And this is right around the time when one team might start to pull away. Yeah, this team is looking to add to the lead, trying to put the other team away, and threatening here. And if you're wondering if Ja Morant lacks for confidence, well, look no further than his point god moniker. This kid is fearless, and he's hungry. Here's Jackson, banked in off the glass. Jackson, Jackson. Jackson's got six. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now, here's Jokic. 23 points for him the last game against the Clippers. And he also controlled the boards. He just seemed to be in the right position every time the ball came off the rim. That one good for two. Jokic just got his second basket. Jokic in body control. Hey, years ago, we wouldn't have said that. I'm saying it now. Moran looking around, and it's Clark with the jam. Here's Reed, off target from outside. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy, and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. Well, how good have they been on the inside tonight, just getting down into the painted area, just dominating, controlling that spot. And it's good for two. That's what you get with a bigger guard, a guy that can carve out a little bit more space, and Rivers does a good job that time. Passes it to Concho. Three-pointer. Here's Adams, and Adams with the slam. There. Stay patient, wait for the opportunity, and boom. That's exactly how you want to close out the quarter, too, with some confidence. What a performance for Brandon Clark. He has been the story for the Memphis Grizzlies. His work on the glass was outstanding in that quarter. Great rebounding. Right back after this break. And the 2021 league MVP, Nikola Jokic, discussed what brought him to this point. 
has to work, you know, every day, twice a day. Just go out there on the court and do whatever you need to do to get better, you know. Beginning, particularly on the offensive end. Well, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that quarter. Read out there with Green, and it's Rivers. It's Najee in at the five, patrolling the paint. That's the group for Denver getting going here in the second. On the sideline, let's catch up John with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Nuggets, when healthy, are one of the league's elite teams. Aaron Gordon says we have championship aspirations. When you've got the Joker, you have a chance to win every single night. If we play our best, we have a good chance to go as far as we want to. Guys, I just want to go as far as throwing it back to you. You can throw it owns, dishes to Clark. Cuts off the pass. And even three-on-three three break. Here's Reed. Wide open shot is on the money. Excellent job of simply taking what the defense offered up. Memphis leading by 16. To the middle. Here's Adams. And Adams with the slam. There is some fluidity for a guy that size in Steven Adams. He's a legitimate option rolling to the basket. For Denver, they've gone 2 of 5 from the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Inside, here's Green, and Green slams it in. And Over Morris. Here's Adams, the kick out to Williams. Dishes it to Morant. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. Stolen by Gordon. It's Barton on the wing. He's guarded by Williams. Williams against Barton. The pass to Jokic. Now the feed to Gordon. And the rejection by Jackson. And the Grizzlies leading by 16. Here's Morant. Makes good on the step back jumper. Morant. Composo. And that one released in time, but no good. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies. Feeling good about their 17-point lead heading into the break. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving up very few easy points. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot, guys. With Mike Malone, as the second half approaches, Coach, what are you looking for? Execution, pace and purpose with everything that we do. Uh, and making sure that when we call a set, we know what we're trying to accomplish and get the ball to where our players can be effective. We'll see if they can fix that in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. Hey, welcome back. The first half mercifully coming to a close. I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny's here. Shaq is here. Jaron Jackson Jr. just been playing terrific basketball in this one. He had 12 points, four block shots, and one assist. Kenny, what'd you think about the Grizzlies? Well, the bench came in and helped them run away with this one. Tremendous job of getting loose, getting open, and drilling shots. You always want that spark off the bench. And these guys deliver. And Shaq, your take on Denver. They really need to focus on finding quality shots. If they can't create for themselves in the second half, things will only get worse. And I'm talking about the high percentage looks, not contested threes. 